that's where you want to be. This is the social media handle. Okay. Remember the title of my presentation? People lies. It's all about people once again. And if you think that you can outsource social media to your agency by a software which will run it for you, or um, remember the first presentation with the human jukebox, mm -hmm. with a pill? I wish I had this pill to sell to you, uh, which is the community manager for you know, and, but it, and then it will answer the questions for you. Unfortunately, this is not possible. You need a human being, you need uh, human capacities, um, and, and somebody to take care of this. And I, I like this quote very much because, never forget, it's people's business, right? One machine can do the work of 50 ordinary men, no machine can do the work of an extraordinary, uh, extraordinary man. And that's really important. And this brings me also to a rock star, I would say. Some really important people. The social media manager. If you ask me, within the next three to five years, every business will have somebody called the social media manager, call it the chief customer officer, call it the community manager. However, there will be this person responsible to manage exactly what you see here. The internal and the external part of communities, building a human bridge between uh, your departments within the co uh, company and selling whatever you want to sell in a way that is understood by the communities and vice versa, understanding the customer needs and translating it in a way that the departments can deal with it. Getting an idea out of a social network, putting it into the right wording and pushing it through the process into the engineering team to consider in the product development. What is a good social media manager? For me, it's somebody who loves social media. It's somebody who loves human beings. He's a socializer. And the best advice I can give to somebody who wants and, uh, to get into social media and uh, be a community manager is be like a good friend. A good friend you trust. A good friend is reliable. A good friend is there when you need him. A good friend helps you. A good friend makes your day. A good friend is, uh, is fun. A good friend makes you laugh when you cry and so on. Never forget human emotions and what we also have seen uh, on the first slide. We are human beings and we want to feel special. It's all about emotions and um, also remember the, the presentation of this morning with the marshmallows. 99% of our decisions are emotional. 1% of our uh, decisions are logical. And this brings me to lefties, bold rules of community management. It's nothing scientific, it's what I have learned along the way. First, add value and simply be helpful. Second, be open and honest. Third, speak their language. And what I mean there is the insiders and the outsiders. And Listening also to some of the questions that have been raised uh, during the day, there was one question. And how do you sell this creative stuff and, and the importance to the, the client? Okay? There was this question, how to really get to the right people, how to really make it happen, how to sell the dream to people who have been the decision makers. What counts for creative concepts on the agency side counts for selling the dream internally as well. A social media manager is not only an outbound master, He's also a change agent, and this is very important. I will talk about this just now. Listen and be approachable. Be there, be around. Be like a true friend, human being. Show appreciation and gratitude, very important. Celebrate, you know, um, even a brand like Mercedes-Benz took his, its time to say thank you for the 500,000 fans here, thank you for 1 million fans, doing something special. We created a piece of art uh, back then. Uh, um, we, uh, and, and, yeah, it was all about the community and expressing the number plus the love and gratitude we felt uh, for, uh, for the fans. Talk with them, not to them. And um, yeah, it's, it's really important. Uh, as a brand, we are sometimes very arrogant. You know, remember the good old days? 
we just spent money uh, for marketing campaigns one way out. We, we didn't actually care if the, the person who sees this advert uh, right uh, when he's watching a nice movie with his girlfriend and getting romantic, he, you know, we, he didn't ask. Uh, he didn't ask for uh, advertising, and we just pushed it out. And this doesn't work anymore. It's, it's a commission-based marketing. We need to think uh, of create a positive atmosphere. You know what? People want to have fun. And make it a fun place. Even a brand, you know, like uh, S. Oliver or Mercedes Benz or any other brands that uh, are represented here uh, today, you can um, afford to be a personality. And actually, this is what you want to achieve. Create a brand that is achieved like a real person, like a personality. Give it a character by giving statements. Wishing a nice weekend, asking about feel, how people feel, giving a mention, mention opinion about stuff that is happening. This makes you really, this gives you a brand of personality, and personality is king. Don't be afraid of failure mistakes, we said that already, and uh, lean back and set the stage for them. As I said, what is more credible? Our print ad saying, I'm great, 1999, buy me, or Lefty, who's wearing this uh, S. Oliver shirt and feeling really good about the quality and the size and the color and the fits, you know. What is more credible? And we really want to set the stage for exactly those people who are satisfied. If you, you, know, if you are afraid and scared that there is nobody happy with your product um, and selling your product for you, then you should rethink your product strategy and your business model. Yeah. I, I will keep this short because I know you're all tired. So, this is the role of the change agent I, made, I mentioned. It's a different story to talk to your CEO uh, at the age of 60, selling him the idea of social media, and a different story to talk to your marketing colleague at the age of 30, reading already uh, marketing blogs and uh, having a Facebook profile. So, what you want to do is to really Grab the hand of, of your opponent and tell a story that he understands. This can work magic. Take your time, open the laptop, write there in the meeting. Don't ask for permission, ask for forgiveness. <laughs> Do it. Google the name of your CEO. Google the name of the product. Go into Twitter, put whatever is important to your business into Twitter and read what's coming up. And I tell you, out of my own experience, it works magic. We're coming to an end now, and I want to come back to the cultural aspect, you know? What's love, pardon, culture, what to do with it? This picture has been taken uh, back in December 2010 uh, at the Zappos headquarters, where I had the pleasure to be with my best friends. We were there for my uh, birthday, my 18th birthday. <laughs> <So I'm joking. laughs> um, I turned 30 last year, and... Uh, to say thank you to my friends, I invited them to a uh, tour at the Zappos headquarters. And they appreciate it because they're all like gigs and they're into this new media stuff. So it was kind of cool to do it. And in the middle of our group, you see this child, uh, Asian guy. Uh, it's Tony Shea. He's the founder of Zappos. Zappos is an online shoe company selling shoes and now also fashion. Uh, worth more than 1.2 billion dollars uh, just in the US and Canada. There's no um, uh, real stores in the real world just selling online. Really impressive. But okay, there's Amazon as well and so on. Amazon bought them by the way two years ago. And I think they, they that was one of the wisest decisions that Jeff Bezos has ever taken. What is so special about Zappos? Okay, you haven't been there, so I'll try to explain it to you. It's just crazy, and it's just fun, and you can just feel love, inspiration, and that people are passionate about what they're doing. And why? Because the whole business is created on top of a purpose. I will talk about the purpose just now. And on top of a culture and values. And everybody shares these values. It's about wowing the customer at every single touch point they have. I, will, I want to share uh, two little stories about what is so special um, about Zappos. First of all, the recruiting process. When you are interested to work uh, for Zappos and you have some 
basic requirements fulfilled, you are invited and what they do is they invest money of a four weeks training for you, telling you exactly who uh, Zappos is, what uh, their values are, what their purposes, what their businesses, everything you need to know about Zappos, but not only that, because that you expect, you know, I mean, you want to work for this company. They're also investing in your personal uh, points and uh, personal growth, things that you're interested in. So, personal development seminars. Four weeks, investments, and then they give you a check and they say, here are $3,000, go. What they do is, when you take the $3,000 and go, you never really wanted to work for Zappos. If you really put the money uh, to the side and stay, they really know that you want to be part of this passionate group of people, you want to be part of a big success, and you really want to live within this culture. 